Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to calculate the area of this triangle ABC as you can see in this figure. And moreover, one side of this triangle has been given as 6 units and this angle is 45 degrees. And we are going to solve this given problem with two different methods. One with trigonometry, the other one is going to be without trigonometry. So let's go ahead and get started with our solution and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this triangle ABC and we have got these three angles. Angle A is this one, angle B is this, and angle C is this one. And moreover, we know that these angles and these ones and these one are vertical angles. And here is a vertical angle theorem. Vertical angles are pair of opposite angles formed when two lines intersect. The vertical angles are always equal to one another. That means this angle is going to be equal to this angle. Likewise, this angle is going to be equal to this angle. And finally, this angle B is going to be equal to this angle. So therefore, this angle is going to become X. This angle is going to become 45 degrees this angle B and this angle C is going to be 2x and we know that the sum of the angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees let me go ahead and write down x plus 2x plus 45 is going to be 180 degrees. Let's go ahead and simplify. That is going to give us 3x plus 45 equals to 180 degrees. Let's move this 45 on the other side. So we got 3x equals to 180 minus 45. So 3x equals to 135. Let's divide both sides by 3. So x turns out to be 45 degrees. So thus the value of x turns out to be a 45 degrees. So that means this x is going to become 45 degrees. This a is going to become 2 times 45 is going to be 90 degrees. So thus in our triangle ABC our angle A is 45 degrees, angle B is 45 degrees as well and angle C is 90 degrees. And here's our next step. Since we want to calculate the area of this triangle ABC and here's the area of a triangle formula. A equal to base time height divided by 2 and we know that the base B equals to 6. So therefore our goal is to calculate the height of this triangle ABC first. Now let's go ahead and draw a perpendicular bisector CD. So I'm going to draw this perpendicular bisector CD. D is somewhere point on this AB and this is perpendicular and here is our much nicer looking diagram and here's the definition of a perpendicular bisector theorem. If a point is on the perpendicular bisector of a line segment then it is equidistance that means same distance from the end points of the line segment. So therefore this line segment AD is going to be equal to this line segment BD. Therefore this line segment AB can be divided into two parts, three units each. So thus BD turns out to be three units. Now let's focus on this triangle 
this is a right triangle B D C and we can see that the sum of all these three angles must be 180 degrees this is 90 degrees right angle this is 45 so this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well so therefore our angle B C D turns out to be 45 degrees and now we can see this triangle B D C this triangle is an isosceles triangle and here's the definition of an isosceles triangle the triangle that has two equal sides are two equal angles and as we can see we have a two equal angle that means this side BD equal to this side CD and we know that our side BD is three units so therefore this side CD is going to be three units as well that means this is three units so thus the height CD turns out to be three units now let me go ahead and show you the second method by using trigonometry pretty quick so we want to calculate the height CD of this triangle now let's recall this so toa the trig ratios sine cosine and tangent and we know that our adjacent is three units and we need to figure out our opposite that's unknown so we can see that we can apply this tangent equal to opposite over adjacent in this right triangle B D C so we can write as tangent of 45 degrees equal to opposite over adjacent and we know that the tangent of 45 degrees is 1 so let's go ahead and fill in the blank so tangent of 45 degrees equal to 1 equal to opposite in our case we don't know opposite so I'm going to call it CD side CD divided by adjacent is 3 units so that means so if we cross multiply crisscross so that means our CD is going to be equal to 3 units so thus our height H turns out to be a 3 unit by using this second method and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of the triangle ABC we know the height is 3 units and base is 6 and here's the area of a triangle formula so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks A equals to a half times base time height so 1 over 2 time base is 6 and height is 3 let's go ahead and simplify that is going to give us 9 so thus the area of this triangle turns out to be 9 square units and that is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye